demic. All right, so uh, this is an improved version over the arrow that I did before because the colors are more blended now. You see the segments are not sharp as we had them before. Let's just give all of this one single color first. And then, um, and then recreate the effect. So that's what I have now. I have no fading. I will select this one and give it a gradient, first of all. Now, that's my gradient down here. I'm going to set my color space to RGB. Oh, actually, no, not RGB. I'm going to set it to HSP for hue, saturation, and brightness. The hue is the color, I'm going to set it to 40. The saturation, I'm going to set it to 80. And the brightness, I want to set it to 100. So that's the color now. All right, I'm going to go to my gradient tool, click and drag like this. All right, so that's the first color. The second color, you remember the first one was 40 by 80 by 100, right? 80 is the bright is the uh, how strong the color is. Let's set it to 100 here. So 40 by 100 by 100, right? So if I go like this, that's what I would have. The second color, I'll set it to 40 by 80 by 100. So 80 would be, or maybe 75 would be, more bright. So I'll select the second color. 40 by say 75 by 100. So now. I would refill with the gradient and this is the color here is 40 by 75 by 100 so I'll select the second one and I click on the eyedropper and sample the first color it's exactly the same one so I have this cut here right now here I should start with 40 by 75 by 100 and move down to 40 by 50 by 100 so 25 is the difference from the beginning to the end so that's the first color it should be 40 by 75 by 100 the second color should be 40 by 50 by 100 all right so now i have this nice smooth transition between the two so let's continue down here i have this one again i will sample this one all right and the colors are 40 by 75 by 100 and then this one would be here 40 by 50 by 100 right and um, actually I did 40 by 50 I should do the opposite um, this one the first one should be 40 by 50 by 100 and the second one should be 40 by 25 by 100 40 by 25 by 100. So that way, when I recreate the gradient from the start to the end, I would get this. So now I have a perfect transition here. I want this to fade to nothing down there. So I'll select and I'll sample. All right, so I have 25 and then zero. So the first color of the gradient is 40 by 25 by 100. And the second one, is 40 by 0 by 100 which is white so now I'll click and drag so now I have this nice transition from color down to nothing 